Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 9 of this gas station. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up all of this. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, what I want to finish is the one that we have right here, the model that um, Shell has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to click this one. We could create this one right here, edit in place. And then after that, we need to click on sweep and pick path and select all of this right here. So you want to select the top edge of this um, canopy and then after that once you finish you click on finish right here to check mark and then click on edit profile now we're gonna create our design right here and I believe we need to give some gap at the top and on the bottom and maybe we could just click right here in the front it's going to be easier for us to model this so i'm just checking the way that it was shown in the in here and after that what i'm gonna do is we're going to create something right here. So something like that. And it goes like this. It curves something right here not too much though so i'm gonna pull it back delete this and then i need to not too much angle And then here, um, we could just go straight and then trim. So something like this, um, we could basically change it a little bit more. We could change this to connect it right there and to give it a, a much smoother um, transition. So there we go so we want to make sure that we have a flat surface right here uh, it's because we're going to use that flat surface so that we could type in the shell name and then we need to put something around so I'm gonna click on finish but before that make sure to change this so I'm gonna use parking stripe so I'm gonna use this parking stripe so that it could show what we're um, created right here and if we see this it will look like that so kind of similar to what shell has and then now we need to decide where the location of the shell name um, will be so I'm probably going to put it right here because we have an opening here so that they will see um, which one and then this one as well so now we're going to so we're going to add 
the shelf first so that we could estimate where we're going to put the red marking around so here um, I'm gonna create so click on finish first for this one um, and then we're going to model text select that model we're gonna set this pick a plane and we're going to choose this plane and then after that select that model and then place it there so don't worry yet we're going to change the uh, change this so we're going to edit duplicate and then we can put this shell logo or shell so here we're going to change the font size to around 400 and then the text we're going to change this to shell capital s h e l l and then now it's extruded a little bit like that uh, we could go to right view and then so that we could see it properly so something like that that's basically similar to what I'm seeing um, in terms of how it looks um, the other thing is we need to change this to a different material and so here we need something metal and we could just put this one in red so I'm gonna look for a metal red and there we go so that's looking good um, what we're gonna do next is we're going to add another one so I'm gonna copy and then here I'm going to pick new and then put it right here and then click there and place it to the location that we want so I'm basically just moving it with my arrow key so we have shell there I believe I think it's better to just put it right here on this side there we go I think that's good enough we can make it a little bit short, uh, smaller, so 350. And then the, the extruded size is 150. I think that's good enough as well. there we go and then after that um, we're going to add in another thing um, this will be the the ring around here so I'm gonna copy this because this is the, the the material that we're gonna use as well and then I'm gonna select this one again model in place and then we're gonna use another sweep so I'm gonna select the sweep right here pick path 
I'm going to use this edge right here. Uh, and then we're not going to put anything onto this side. So we need to break it here and then pick another edge. I'm planning to slice this. So split element. And another so split and one doesn't work right here so i'm just going to add one more of that so basically we just need it up to here but we want another one similar to this one but we need to overlap it again but though after i add this it's not showing afterwards so i'm gonna go to this side and what i'm gonna do going to copy it to basically overlapping it So actually, in order for us to just do this properly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it like this and then add that to extra because it's not making us a clean sweep like this. And if you notice, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one because there, there's a breakage. So it only can do one loop. So you need to do it twice, basically. I'm going to pull it like this. And then after that, I'm going to click finish, edit profile. Let's look at it right here. Instead of parking stri uh, stripe, add the red one. And then I'm going to click right here so that I can model it properly. And then here, I'll basically add something like this and I believe it's curved so I'm just gonna curve this by using this and then delete this click finish so I'm gonna copy this for 80 and then we have I'm gonna make sure to know the dimensions 
So 80 by 60. It is. So I'm going to put push this. So 80 right here and then 80 as well and then 60 and then here we need to give it I think 60 as well so we want to maintain that and then click finish and then finish I want to see or I want to do it on the other side as well so now create another sweep make path I'm gonna choose this one first and then this one the reason that I choose that is because um, whatever you choose first it will create this one right here and I want it to, to be here so that I could easily see it properly not I'm not going to be bothered with that so now we could extend this a little bit more later on and then here we're going to click this right now and then click finish edit and then create the 80 by 60 we want to make sure that this one was 80 and then 80 again and then this one is 60 and then 60 as well and then delete this and then make sure everything is correct and click finish and then double check if you need a little bit more of gap I think here it's good we need to extend this part and then here we need to move it so edit sweep pick path and then here we need to pull it up to here only there we go just a little bit more and I believe that's good enough and then here it's good and then we need to put this one a little bit there we go so now this one looks like what we're seeing in shell and then before we finish I'm going to add in also the fire extinguisher um, I want to make sure that uh, you guys will be able to download all of this uh, just check part one description so it will there will be a third link there so it will come all with all of that so here I'm just going to add this one so we're going to put this one right here and then we are going to place it beside the post so I'm gonna copy this and then add it so maybe I'll just copy it first and then add it on here in this side as well and then double check the height 
I think the height is good enough. Maybe we could offset it a little bit. So maybe around 400 more. Okay. And then after that, select this one right here, copy. And then add it on all of here. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.